are you? Hi, I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So to start uh, with a movie like this that, you know, has a central theme of friendship with those little boys, but then, you know, there's so many bigger adult themes surrounding this it's almost contrasted by not only the beauty of their friendship, especially in the beginning, but the scenery of Chicago in the background and how you've kind of shot the city for you. Is it always about showing the beauty with the darker sides of this story when you were making it? I was really interested in sharing this story because it was, you know, something that was very different than what I, you know, I had understood myself about Cabrini Green um, as I was growing up in Chicago. Um, so there was, the from the kids' perspective, you know, Cabrini Green was like one of the, you know, it's this the only place they didn't know as home. And so that, that was very meaningful to portray on screen. Like, what does this world look like when all your friends live in the same high rise and you all go to school together? And there's a lot of light in that, in, in their lives. And I wanted to share that while also acknowledging, like, this is also a challenging you know, place to live for what, you know, for all, for many reasons. Um, and that those two truths can be held at the same time in the movie. I was very interested in beauty and, and, you know, exploring the childhood imagination because these kids, they really are, you know, they're hopeful. Um, they, they don't see themselves as living in public housing. They, they see that where they're living as home. Um, and so it was important to portray the beauty in their lives and in their everyday lives and the mundane things too, like curtains um, and the blue tin and, and, and in these all these little moments and things, these textures that make up what home looks like, feels like, smells like. Um, and that, that all those textures, those were important to have in the film because I wanted the audience to feel by the end of the movie that, that this, this was a meaningful place um, to the residents, to these kids. Yeah, and I, you know, the those two boys, though, are, I think, some of the most important figures within this movie, because when you are that age, your friendship is kind of the only thing that really matters the most, and it is the having the, like, the pull away from each other is very real, especially when you are that age. Were there any challenges of, like, making sure that that was still so important within this story while you are touching on all of these other themes? Yeah, it, the kids were always the heart of the movie. It was always going to be about, you know, in my mind that by the end of the film that we're really, ex like, we understand what home means to both of them, too, you know. They've understood and learned from each other. Um, there are heavy parts in the film, you know, there are many heavy parts, but it was in the way that we showed them and shared them on screen, and we made sure that we stayed in the kids' perspective and what they understood, because they don't understand everything. They do understand maybe even a lot more than we give them credit for, but they don't see Cabrini Green from this bird's eye view. They really see it through their their own lived experience, that you know what their day to day lives look like, and. Um, I wanted to show both of those things, you know, and to show that, you know, they can have an amazing day playing hooky, but then there are consequences because mm -hmm. they don't just live anywhere. They live in a place where, you know, tragedy has struck, and that's a that's something that they actually have to contend with. And I, I think it's also contrasted nicely with the fact that you have Laurel and you have Journey, who are two people that like I associate with like very like lighter movies or lighter stories that I can kind of like dive into with them and to see them in this it's like oh I have that comfort but it also comes at like a cost and was that was trying to find people that you know like we have an association with as an audience a goal or did it just kind of luck out that you ended up with two people who so many of us love from things that are not necessarily like the darkest of stories at times that's just luck. I mean, Journey, you know, Journey came on board the film because she read the script and she really saw Dolores in, you know, in herself, in the women that had raised her. And so I think that that, that was coming from a very emotional place. Lil Rel had, you know, was from Chicago. So, mm -hmm. you know, he, he very much understood this place, even though he wasn't living in Cabrini Green. Um, so I think they both came to the story, this film, from a place of wanting 
to share something that they themselves wanted to see. Um, I think that, you know, a story with these two kids at the heart of it, that's not very common. And to share that story in a way that really gives dignity to their emotions and their relationship and stays with them and doesn't make it about all these other things. It really is about these kids and, and what it means when external forces um, force them apart. And I, I, they, we were very fortunate to have them because they really brought so much to their characters, but also to the whole film. You know, everybody, by the time we were on set, it, it was very much a family. They all loved each other and their chemistry was just, it was so natural. Um, because they, you know, everybody just loved the movie and what it, what it, the themes and also that they, they each, they, they each could see themselves and the characters and, and the story at large of like what it, what it meant to them. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for trying with me today. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait for people to get to see me grow now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great one.